You're listening to Breakaway Wealth, the show designed to help you build wealth faster, think bigger, and break out of the herd. Now, here's your host, Jim Oliver. Before we jump into today's show, we have some exciting news to share with you. Our brand new online community platform is now live. Get access to free on-demand, in-depth training courses on topics like infinite banking, cryptocurrency, real estate investing, and much more. Just go to community.createtailwind.com. That's community.createtailwind.com. Or check out the show notes of this episode to find the direct link to request to join the community. Now, on to the show. Welcome back, Breakaway Wealth. I'm your host, Jim Oliver, and with me today, Ben Reinberg. Welcome, Ben. Thank you, Jim. Pleasure. I appreciate being on your show. Uh, thanks for having me. Look forward yeah. to chatting. Absolutely. Me too. And I, and I think that there's so many uh, people out there that are kind of frozen in taking action. So I want to talk about, um, I think you guys got a, some uh, great options and opportunities for people. And people are wondering, what do I do now? And now that interest rates are high, what do I do? Or now that the market is uh, going down, what do I do? So uh, before we jump into that, then, uh, why don't you just tell everybody a little bit about yourself, what you're doing, and a little bit about Alliance. Uh, just real quick, I don't want to bore people with the great details of Ben Reinberg, but basically about three decades ago, I started Alliance Consolidated Group of Companies. We are the premier uh, owner of office, industrial, and retail properties throughout the United States. That's commercial real estate. I am an icon and a thought leader in the commercial real estate space. Uh, about two decades ago, out of our three-decade history, we started acquiring medical properties. And then about seven years ago, we started acquiring veterinary properties. So we just launched a fund called the Alliance Medical Property Fund, which diversifies investors' capital. And it works extremely well in this market. And we're seeing a tremendous amount of demand that we're probably going to have to increase the fund size because of what's going on. So. I'm a fiduciary of Capital Gym. We have high net worth accredited investors and family offices around the globe that love to invest in Alliance. Why? Because we have a great track record, mid-20s IRR on medical properties through our career, which is incredible. That is but incredible. also 200 plus years of leadership team experience outside of Ben Reinberg in my three decades of experience. So a lot of experience on the team. We give seven-star experience, white glove and service to our investors. We provide certainty to sellers and brokers. And so it's a great alternative investment. So if anyone's out there and you like to invest passively in commercial real estate and diversify your portfolio, this is the perfect opportunity. Why? Because the human body is never going out of style. And with that comment, our tenants pay rent during pandemics, during recessions, because like all of us that we have families, I have a family too, I have three kids, Jim, we go to the doctor, I see the bills, I see the HSA. We're actually at the company, we're repricing our Blue Cross Blue Shield, our corporate headquarters is in Illinois. Uh, I sit in Newport Beach in our West Coast office. And you know our plans from Illinois, and I see our healthcare plan, and you understand insurance really well, is you look at a healthcare plan, it's going up 10%, and guess what? Everyone's using insurance. More, and, more Americans are insured now than ever. And with that being said, medical properties are thriving. It's one of those asset classes that beat multifamily and some of the other asset classes in this environment. Well, there's so many people out there um, that are, you know, quote, syndicators or whatever for multifamily and they're, you know, even RV parks and things like mm -hmm. that. And look, yep. I'm not saying those are not great deals, but, you know, a lot of passive stuff is in that 10 percent range. And for you to have the track record that you do at the, the payout. And one of the things that I show people when I'm showing them infinite banking is when people are putting hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars through their insurance contract, the question is always, what do I do with the money? That's and right. some guys got it down. You know, I've got a guy up in Wisconsin. He's putting 300 grand a month in his insurance contract and paying his uh, uh, escrow because he has escrow money flowing in that much. I think he has a half a billion dollars worth of real estate or something like that. But so many people I talk to, okay, Jim, I got a windfall or, hey, I make a lot of money. I don't need all the money that I make. And I'm going to do infinite banking, but what do I do with the money? Mm -hmm. 
once it's in my insurance contract, what do I take the insurance company's money and where do I put it? And I don't want to be a landlord and I don't want to learn all this other stuff. And I show people if they are active and I show them cash on cash of like 20 or 25%, if they're active, mm -hmm. right? But for you to be able to do what you do and you can do that passively, well, I mean, I'm just telling you, everybody that's listening to this that has money sitting in their insurance contract should pay attention. Yeah, and, so, and, and I'll tell you why. I mean, when you look at this environment, rising interest rates, you know, and what's going on in our country is that we're basically providing a conservative asset. Okay. I'm a large investor. I love what I do. I back what I, what I preach and I can't find a better investment than what we do. Yeah. Why? We have great tax benefits. You can kick the bricks and mortar of every property. You take the new Alliance medical property fund, Jim, the fact that you could put in, you know, say, a half a million bucks on a commitment and it gets allocated over a bunch of different investments. Say there's 20 properties in the fund. Well, guess what? Amazing leadership team, transparency, integrity, consistency, and expertise are our core values. But you go a step further with medical office investing. The transparency part is so huge. You can go kick the bricks and mortar. We write narratives and, and reports every quarter. We provide financial statements. What I love about what we do, because I'm conservative, is I love transparency. Yeah. I love the fact that Ben Reinberg is out there talking. He's out there preaching. Uh, you can meet my leadership team. You know, you can see what we do. You can go see all the properties we own in the fund. You can fly to Florida and see the four dermatology properties we bought recently. And the list goes on and on. So for me, what's great with investors is everyone's investing over the Internet. But the real question is, how do you verify what's going on? And so what I love about my company is we're an open book. We're, we're transparent. Go look at the properties. Go find out who I am. Go listen to my podcast. Follow me on social media. You know, yeah, what's your see, podcast, man? It's called Ben Reinberg hyphen I own it. And, and so it's, it's not that you can't find me. I'm out there. And, right. and we're growing as a company as well. And so what I think are some great opportunities is next year. Here's an interesting stat, Jim, that your audience will like that came out yesterday. This is fresh news. $2.8 trillion of commercial real estate loans are going to be coming due in the next 28 months. Wow. So if you want to know where this economy is going, folks, it's, it's, we're in for a wild ride. Stock market's probably going to go up and down. Uh, you know, and so investing in commercial real estate, if you do it, the, if you do it, the, if you do it the right way, you'll know, you'll be able to make money and receive tax benefits. So you got to be conservative. So, for example, Jim, we're looking at opening up a multifamily division next year. Why? We think there's going to be great buying opportunities for us in multifamily and we can manage those. And we have a property management department that have experience in multifamily that we can jump in that business and benefit investors. That's what experience in commercial real estate does because we understand real estate fundamentals for any asset class. And that's what's important. Experience and, and leverage count in this business. And when I mean by leverage, I mean resource. I'm not talking about debt because debt for everyone out there, you do not want to put on a lot of debt on properties. You're going to learn real quick in this marketplace what over leveraging with debt really means. And so we don't on our properties. We take a conservative approach because guess what? This business and any business ability to hold, ability to hold, and ability to hold. It's not residential real estate where it's all about location, location, location. Location helps, but with rents and everything else. But this is about ability to hold, having enough reserves. Because one of the things we do is we value every investor. And for you folks out there that are investing, whether you have an insurance contract with Jim or whatever you do out in the world. One thing I can educate you on from my experience is the people that you're doing business with, if they don't value every single penny that you've ever made and the privilege for you to invest with them or for them to be a fiduciary or a shepherd of your capital, and I say this to my staff, we should not be in business in what, if we don't value that. Because coming from Chicago, I look at my father and I look at colleagues taking the train downtown Chicago in a suit 
in the cold of winter with ice and snow. Jim, you're in 88 degree weather, so it doesn't apply to you. Right. But most people out there, whether you're in the Midwest, Northeast, what have you, upper West Coast, and you're in cold weather, you can appreciate this, is that you went and you commuted to feed your family, educate your kids. And we look back at that stuff and we're like, what did this person do for a living? Oh, well, this person was an insurance agent. This person was an attorney. This person, especially being in Chicago or New York, I mean, how competitive is it to be an attorney? It's a really yeah. tough business. So we value these stories. And when you understand these stories and you have this sense of gratitude, gratitude plays a huge role in my company. Because when you're grateful for investors and people out there, your resources, or the opportunity to do a podcast with Jim Oliver, it goes a long way, folks. And that's the people I invest with. People say, well, who do you invest with, Ben? I invest with people that are solutionary oriented and transparent. Because that's yeah. what I want about. Not everything's going to go well. Okay. Now, my investors think I walk on water because we have this great track record. If I tell my investors, if I go eight for 10 in my career with you, that's my batting average. That's I'm in the Hall of Fame 10 times over, you know, if I'm not 10 for 10. And so it's not always about everyone's track record and success. It's about the integrity. It's about the transparency. And it's about the values that the company has. And that's why our values are so important, because it resonates with everyone that works at Alliance but also trickles down to all the investors and the resources that surround Alliance. I'm very proud of that we've built over the years. So that's who I am, that's what I do, and that's how we provide value to our, to our investors and our resources. You know, I love that. I love, because I love gratitude and, I, I'm, and I, I love that you tie it to that then. You know, I've been really kind of lately thinking about, there's a lot of great marketers online. Mm -hmm. And whether they're in the real estate space or they're in the coaching space or the info banking space, and they've got two years experience or 10 years experience, right? And I, I, I kind of think of it like this. If you and I were going to go climb Mount Everest tomorrow, right? Right. right. You know, we're going to make sure we got the right gear. For, for sure. sure. You got to have good That's gear. Right. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, bring, and I'm bringing Jen Drummond with us because she's done it a bunch of times. So we might have to bring yeah. her. And, and I'm in, right? I want experience and I want the best Sherpa that is on the planet, right? Mm -hmm. I, cause, cause, uh, I want to make sure that we get to the top of the mountain, but I also want to make sure we get down safely. That's right. And, 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 you know, you brought something up is that experience you can't buy. No. And, and like some people, you know, when, when they're building a company and they're, they're like you say, eight out of 10, if you were, if, you're right. And I always tell people, look, if you if you do two deals and then th that's really hard to have an 800 uh, batting average, right? Because it doesn't divide. If you do 10 deals, now I know you can have an 800 batting average. But, but you know, when things get tough, you can either dig in and get better or you can take the shortcut. And that's when guys get in trouble and they over leverage or they do something stupid, right? But you can't survive for 30 years doing something stupid. And you can't survive for 20 years doing something stupid. No, and let me, let me answer happens. that. Let me answer that because yeah. it's absolutely right. It's, it's commercial real estate's a marathon business. Yep. If anyone tells you differently, they're not in the business or they haven't had success. Okay. People think, oh, I buy a property, flip it for a couple million, and that's how it works. It doesn't work that way. Not every yeah. deal's perfect, environments change. Interest rates change. Look at what we what we just went through and what we're going through in this economy. And you look at things, and it's about the ability to hold. It will yeah. always be that way. That's the key to this business: is understanding the real estate fundamentals, underwriting property. How do you buy it, and how do you assess risk? And so, it's not one thing that I love about where I'm at is I'm in the prime of my career, and I make yeah. it clear. I, I people are like, how does the business work? I'm like, well, if you're going to get into commercial real estate, let me explain how it works, especially as a principal. I've never been a broker. I've always been the guy, that landlord, the guy who's got to run the show. That's been me, that leader. It's yep. always been my whole life. And the, how the business works, if everyone wants to know, is you spend the first third of your career on your back, the second third on your feet, and then last third on your stomach. 
so you could start swimming and navigate through tough waters and be able to solve challenges and, and be able to create wealth for others or yourself. And so what ends up happening is I'm in that tail end of the third where I'm in the prime of my career. So what's great about our investors is they're getting a seasoned Ben Reinberg and his staff that have grinded the Saturdays and Sundays. You know, people say to me, you know, what does it take? I'm like, it's those moments when you're by yourself. When when I when I lived in Chicago, okay, and Bannockburn, Illinois was where my headquarters is. Now it's in Deerfield, Illinois. And I'd sit in my office and it would be like a Saturday, okay? And my kids would have a baseball game or this and that. I would be in my office working and grinding and raising equity and doing the little things. No one watched. No one yeah. gave me accolades. I didn't have to preach what I was doing. I did it because it gave me that competitive edge. It gave me the knowledge and education. And now at the point in my career, all those moments, those weekends, those nights, those travelings, the cold weather, the dark days, my investors benefit from that. That's why people love investing with alliances. They're able to leverage all the years of grinding, experience, knowledge, quick decisions, resources. The list goes on and on. That's why people go down the road with you, Jim, and invest in insurance with you. Why? Because you've been there and done that. You have experience. And that's what it takes. When you're in the finance business, I'll give you an example. So you mentioned it, and it was very well said. When I built my personal brand, I decided I was going to open the kimono and share who I was as a person. And the reason why I did that, what I felt was important, was I have a lot of value to give the younger generation, but also people that want to invest, especially in commercial real estate. And so I said, well, how can I offer value? It's just giving the facts giving experience, talking about the ups and downs, talking about not everything's perfect, talking about not everyone walks on water and what reality looks like and that you have to work hard and you just don't snap your fingers and build wealth. It takes time and energy and resources and knowledge. And it's a continuing process of growing. It's why I continue to grow and learn and educate myself and we do a lot of interesting things at Alliance. I mean, we're doing things on human behavior. We have a human behaviorist that came in our company, and we realize that people's personal life and business life, Jim, we're mirroring each other. And I said, I, I'm struggling to deal with this remote hybrid working with our staff. I mean, in Chicago, we had a large office. Everyone was in there. We had a water cooler. We had coffee. We had food brought in. We had osmosis going on. It's gone these days. Yeah, I have an office with a couple of staff here on the West Coast in Newport Beach and Chicago we do in different areas of the country, but it's not the same. We're all together and all sharing stories and 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 so we had to figure out we said, well, how do we deal with people's personal lives and what they want to achieve their best life? And so we figured it out and we implemented our company. It's what's helped our growth. But guess what? All this benefits our investors as well and our resources. So we do things a little bit differently. And uh, and for people out there, you know, it, there's tough times ahead. OK, I, I believe this is Ben Reinberg's opinion. I think other people think it, too, in the finance world is I feel that unemployment's going to going to grow that percentage. I think more people are going to be out of work. People are going to be laying off people. There's commercial real estate loans coming due. You look at the price of gas and the price of food. If you go to the grocery store, how much can one family afford? And so now all of a sudden people start losing their jobs. I, there's To me, I don't see how it's possible. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, believe me, I hope and pray that I am incorrect in my statement, but I find it hard to believe that we're not going to have some troubled times ahead. And so if you're out there investing, be conservative. And so if you look at our fund, it's a conservative investment with upside, with great experience. That's why people love what we do. And the human body is never going out of style. And so it works. It's a great asset class. And that's why a lot of people ask me, like, why medical? Like, why do you do what you do? And it's because I can pro provide wealth in any environment and tax benefits and benefit our investors and find them opportunities from all the money that we invest to uncover the best opportunities for them to put their cap along with us in. You know, uh, Ben, it's funny because, you know, when you interview somebody and you have your own podcast, podcast, so you understand this, but you've given me such great information. I'm not sure I have a lot more questions because like what I want to do right now is get on the website or go to, you know, uh, 
your community or whatever is available to me and find out more and how I can um, decide if this is for me or not for me. And I know, because we've talked about this um, offline, is one of the things we tell people for Create Tailwind is we don't sell anything. We just show you and educate you about what we do. And you either say this is for me or it's not for me. Right. And I know that's the same approach that you guys take. So I'm 100% comfortable sending everybody that uh, is interested in thinking that, hey, maybe this is um, something I should look at. And it's definitely, even if it's not for you, you need to check it out and find out more about it. Because look, telemedicine is great. You can't do everything telemedicine, right? It, it, well, and, that was the that was the challenge I heard in the pandemic. Like, are you concerned that all your properties are going to go vacant? Because I said it's not going to happen. Yeah, I said any man or woman out there listening, okay, out there in the universe who's listening to this, just look at yourself, okay. If you go get a colonoscopy, it, it's not over the internet. Go get yeah. surgery cardiology services, neurology, plastic surgery for the men and women out there, Botox, whatever you're getting, anything, dermatology, orthopedic, you break a bone or, or you sprain an ankle. More people are working out these days, physical therapy, whatever it is, you have to physically go see the doctor to get treatment. And it will Absolutely. always be that way. It's, never, it's, not, it's not going anywhere. And so it's very well said. The other thing is too is to go on our website. You can click invest with us, fill out a form. We'll get a hold of you. We'll educate you. It's all about education. I write a blog, Jim, to hundreds of thousands of people every week, and I do that because it gives people knowledge to make intelligent decisions. Why invest in medical office? Why invest in anything we do? And yeah. so we write about it, and I write about it. So on our website, we got testimonials. You can see investors that talk about us, brokers sellers. Uh, we have a lot of sellers that become investors, which I think is the greatest testament. We have a lot of physicians wow. that sell us their property and they're like, what do you do, Ben? And I said, this is what we do. And they're like, how do we invest? And then all of a sudden they become investors and then they don't want to leave. And so they keep coming back in droves. And I think that's a testament to what we've established at Alliance and incredible staff of people and, and the wonderful resources that we have. So. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And you know, Ben, one of the things that I'm always, it's uh, impressed me about you is I love humble confidence and, um, and, and because humble, humble confidence is, is born in gratitude, right? It's not thinking, you know, there's some people, there's a lot of people that have a lot of money. They get, they just got lucky, right? And they're cocky about it because they got lucky, but, but your humble uh, confidence and I love confidence because you, you want to invest with somebody that knows what they do. And when I talk to somebody about infinite banking, I say, you can ask me any question you want. And I'm not being arrogant. I can answer any question you can come up with because I've done this enough, done it a million times. I know any question that you can come up with in every scenario. And I know that's the same way with you guys. So Ben, I want to um, tell everybody what's the best way again, and we'll put all this in the show notes, but what's the best way for somebody to what, what's the website, what's the YouTube channel, all of that stuff. Well, you can go to benreinberg.com to follow me. I'm on all the social media platforms. You can go to Alliance CGC on all the social media platforms. You can see all we do is provide education on what we do. You can see me on different podcasts. You can follow my podcast, Ben Reinberg, I own it. Uh, go to alliancecgc.com like you see under my name here in the box. And what that will do is if you're a passive accredited investor, okay, we'll interview you. And I'll be very candid with you. We look for people with our values to invest with us. It's not everyone fits our box. Not, not everyone qualifies. And you could be the wealthiest person in the world and we might not accept you. Why? It's a privilege to invest with us. We want long-term relationships and we don't want headaches. We want people that understand the risk behind investing in commercial real estate especially yeah. medical office, and we educate you. And then we'll, we'll, if you fit the bill and, and you fit our box, we admit you. And I could assure you, you'll really enjoy the experience because I thrive on communication and that, five, that white glove service, that seven-star experience I want you to have. I don't want you to have to worry about your money. I want you to feel that we consistently communicate. I want you to be able to pick up the phone. I'm a phone guy. I yeah. talk to a lot of investors and I have great relationships. I love it. I love getting to know our investors, 
They're the lifeblood of our business. They always have been, and I'm very grateful for them. So those are the people that we allow to come into the fund. So go on the line, CGC, click a vest, vest with us. There's buttons all over. You can reach out to me. People call me directly. People call my staff. And we're happy to have a discussion with you. And if you're serious about investing and making money, just give us a call. We're happy to help you because we know you're going to enjoy your experience with us. We've been doing this for a long, long time. And so for us, it's just a matter of we understand how can we serve and help you. And once yeah. we understand what you're looking for, which, and Jim, you know, a lot of people say, well, why Alliance and what do you do? And, and it's really four pillars, diversification. We have great cost of capital. We, sk- we have scalability. We can invest a little bit of money and we can scale it and really enhance your returns. And the other thing is purchasing power. Because we're in the market and we have great opportunities and great experience and a great brand, we see deals that other people don't see. And we pass that on to our investors to build wealth. And that's why you invest with us. That's awesome. And uh, all right, Ben, I got two quick questions. And uh, like I said, I would encourage everybody to go to the website, check it out and and talk to somebody. Uh, all right, first question, what's the best advice anybody's ever given you? Oh God, so much. I'd have to go back through the hours, guys, but- um, Or one that stands best, out to me. I think someone, uh, one of the gentlemen I went to college with, and God bless his soul, he's no longer with us. He was from uh, South Florida. He always said to me, he goes, tough times don't last, tough people do. That was Amen. one of the best things someone said to me in a long, long time. Amen to that. Okay. And, second, and by the way, that's going to go on for this environment right. that we're about to yeah. see. So think about it. I, I agree with you on the tough times to come. And, and you know what? I look forward to it because I know that it's gonna, there's going to be opportunities. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the last question is, if God came down from heaven and only allowed you to retain the knowledge from one book that you've read, what would that book be? Uh, I'm going to say uh, pitch, pitch Anything by Oren Claff. He's a friend of mine, and there's just that book kind of defines what I've been able to do in my career. And we have a lot wow. in common, me and Oren, and it seems to really you know, hit me when I think about that book because that's really how I've lived my career. No, that's great. And uh, 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 okay, well, that's... that's uh... That's that's some great advice and a great book and really, really enjoyed the the things that you've shared with people. And, I'm, and you know, I don't tell people, hey, go check this out. I don't do that very often. And but I, I you really need to because talk to Ben before and, um, you know, confidence and gratitude and humility. Um, you and, and if you're going to climb the mountain, then get the best Sherpa you can find. And so. It's all about how you think too. And I love Ben's attitude and his mindset. And we're gonna wrap it up like we always do, Ben, with uh, the great words of Earl Nightingale on The Strangest Secret. Take it away, Earl. Here's the key to success and the key to failure. We become what we think about. Now let me say that again. We become what we think about. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to hear what was shared on today's podcast. If you are looking to discover new wealth building strategies, then go to community.createtailwind.com. That's community.createtailwind.com to join our free online community and get access to free courses and in-depth training videos designed to help you build wealth and break away from the herd. Click the link in the show notes to access the community today. Thanks again for listening.